Hello and welcome. In my last video, Five Signs of a Negative Person, I spoke on how to identify negative people. And as promised, today I will be talking on how to respond to negative people. I am almost certain that everyone watching this video has a friend or used to have a friend who every time you call them or they call you, you know you are in for a half an hour round about everything that is difficult and are on fear. Sounds familiar, right? As strange as it may sound, someone else may also feel the same way about you. Dealing with negative people is such a difficult task because the negative person may be your child, may be your partner, your friend or even your superior at work. You will agree with me that in some instance you're stuck. You will have to find your way around them by ducking and diving and rearranging yourself in order to accommodate them. You can either accept them, avoid them or ignore them depending on who the negative person is perceived to be. So, how can we avoid, respond, relate and interact with negative or difficult people? People will seem chronically critical, belligerent, indignant, angry or just plain rude. When someone repeatedly drains everyone around them, how do you maintain a sense of compassion without getting sucked into their doom? And how do you act in a way that doesn't reinforce their negativity? My first suggestion is maintain a distance. You should not let anyone walk through your mind with their dirty feet. Joel Austin said, You don't hang out with negative people and expect to live a positive life. Avoid cynical and negative people like the plague because they are killers of potential. They feed on your reaction and if they see you being affected by what they do or say, they keep doing it. So, you must ignore them. You may need to change your group, even your friends, if you notice they are negative. I love the way King David expressed it in the book of Psalms chapter 1. I read, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of the mockers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Keeping these instructions will keep you away from negative energy. Number 2. Only Quality People OQP Who brings out the best in you, loves you truly, and values you. You need to surround yourself with such people. They respect and believe in your dream. Sometimes you need critics to achieve and reach your goal, but make sure that their criticism is constructive. Charlie Tremendous Jones said, You will be the same person in five years as you are today, except for the people you meet and the books you read. Number three, let go of grudges. Grudges stem from unforgiveness, while unforgiveness breeds hurt. Acknowledge the hurt and decide to forgive because unforgiveness is like drinking poison yourself and waiting for the other person to die. Keep your cool and your character intact. The less you respond to negative people, the more peaceful your life becomes. Number four, drop negative attitude about yourself or others. Negative attitude is contagious. It's like a flat tire, and if you don't change it, you can't go anywhere. Since negativity is a learned response, it can be taught even to an innocent child. And since it is learned, then it can be unlearned. A negative attitude is almost a guarantee that life will be more difficult and less fulfilling than it should be. People can get you so upset that they bring out the worst in you. That suggests that you have it in there already anyway. So you need a conscious effort and determination to drop the negative attitude about yourself and towards others. Always remember that you will not be judged by what people do to you, but how you respond to what people do to you. True character is revealed in the choices you make when you are under pressure. And that is why you need to develop and maintain a good character. Alfred Adler said, Men of genius are admired, men of wealth are envied, men of power are feared, but only men of character are trusted. Number five, what you think about. What you think about. You need to fill yourself with positive words, inspirational messages, and find time to read and study the Bible. I cannot put it better than Apostle Paul's word to the Philippians in chapter 4 verse 8 where he instructed them on what to think about. I read, 
Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if anything is worthy of praise, think about these things. Let me reiterate on the things we must think about. Whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent or praiseworthy. So that's me done for today and as you know, you can give me your thoughts on this and add your suggestions towards the topic in the comment section to get the conversation going. Thank you. Have a good one.